Hello everyone, it's your TA Courtney here and today we'll be looking at some tools that will help you with your things that are blank project. So as you can see, I already have masked out some things in Photoshop. I've decided to go with the category things that are sharp and I will go through masking the rest of my objects. I'm not going to do as many as you will just for the sake of time and so you don't have to sit through me masking out, you know, 20 objects but I will have six objects in total and I will put them on a three by two grid. So I'm mainly using the quick selection tool. You can use any selection tool to make your selection, but I am using on all of mine, the quick selection tool and then going in and using the other selection tools and also pulling up the mask panel to make sure everything is correct, to make sure there's not any bits that are being cut off or bits that are showing that shouldn't be. So here I'm playing with the mask properties and just trying to make it look as natural as possible. So after finishing that, I'm trying to make everything have a more cohesive color palette. And this is a very cool green color. And I want it to be a more warm yellow tone to kind of match the pack of Singer needles up in the corner. So I'm going to do that by creating a new adjustment layer. And when I create that layer, I'm going to check the mark that says use previous layer to create a clipping mask. So that's going to make this adjustment only happen to this object. If I didn't do this, I could adjust all the colors of all images. So I'm just warming this up a little bit and kind of making it look more cohesive with the other yellows in my other object. put all those layers in a folder for the pins just for ease of organization. So now I'm pretty much going to do that same process for the rest of my objects using, using the quick selection tool as the main selection tool. I decided to mainly use the polygon lasso tool because I didn't have my tablet with me and I find the just kind of free form lasso tool a little more difficult to use with just a mouse.
I'm also adding different adjustment layers to adjust the color just because I kind of want everything to look cohesive. And the exacto knife was kind of weird to do because it is black so i didn't want it to blend too well into the black background but i also didn't want to make it look unnatural so i ended up going with a more blue tone and in hindsight i wish i would have gone with a more warm tone with my coloration on that one just to kind of match the warm tones on the rest of the objects So I'm going to set up some grid lines to help organize my objects. And then I'm going to adjust my objects to be in a more organized grid format. To make my grid lines, I literally just divided 4,000 pixels by 3, but there's many ways to do this. So I'm going to save a PSD version of this project and I'm also going to, as usual, save a JPEG to turn in. And once again, I would recommend saving throughout your process, but since I wasn't doing 16 or more objects, I, it didn't take too long. So once again, I did not, but if I am working on anything longer than 45 minutes to an hour, I will save periodically. So that is all I have for you guys for today. But once again, feel free to reach out and I will be holding office hours to address your concerns. And thank you so much.